In this video, I'm talking about that static hiss that you might be hearing inside of your hearing aids and what a feature called expansion can do about it. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Hearing aids are specifically designed to amplify things that you want to hear like speech and music or some other desirable sounds like birds chirping or a baby laughing. However, hearing aids can also inadvertently over amplify certain soft sounds that you don't necessarily want to hear like the drone over the refrigerator or the washing machine or the air conditioner and even the circuit noise of the hearing aid itself. And this is often perceived as a hissing sound and this hissing sound can be perceived for a variety of different reasons. First is your residual hearing ability. The likelihood that you will actually hear this static hiss depends a lot on what your low frequency hearing is like. Take a look at this audiogram. Most individuals with presbycusis or age related hearing loss have good low frequency hearing, but bad high frequency hearing. The better your low frequency hearing ability, the greater the likelihood that you will perceive this static hiss because your hearing is already sensitive to softer level sounds in those ranges. Second is the use of compression. Now compression is used for two different reasons. Number one is to reduce the amount of amplification given to really loud sounds to make them more comfortable for you and to increase the amount of amplification given to soft sounds to make them audible to you. Now you can get a more detailed understanding of what compression is by watching my compression video that I will link in the description of this video, but sometimes compression can actually over amplify some of these softer sounds that you may not want to hear. And the third factor is how quiet your environment is. If you happen to be in a very quiet room and the only thing running is your air conditioner, there's no other types of sounds that can mask over your perception of that soft level amplification, which means that you'll perceive it even more. Now, if you're hearing that static hiss, there are a few things that can be done to get rid of it. The first thing that you can do is just adapt to it. Over time, your brain tends to get used to certain levels of input, and once it determines that that input is not necessarily important, it has the ability to start tuning it out to the point where it doesn't even distract you anymore. Second is reducing the amount of amplification that the hearing aids are giving you. If you actually turn down the amount of amplification overall in the hearing aid, of course it's also going to reduce down the amount of amplification that's given to these softer sounds. Now I don't typically recommend this, even though this is probably one of the main ways that a hearing care professional will reduce the amount of static hiss that you hear, because it can actually reduce down your audibility for these soft level sounds that you do want to hear, like someone who's talking really softly to you. The third approach to reducing this hissing sound is enabling a feature called expansion. Now expansion is a lot like compression, only instead of where compression increases the amount of amplification given to softer level sounds, expansion actually reduces the amount of amplification given to softer level sounds. Now soft level speech tends to hover around 50 to 55 dB SPL, which you absolutely want to make sure that you are amplifying appropriately with the use of compression to make sure that this soft level speech is audible to you. The problem, like I mentioned before, is that compression can have the unintended consequence of over amplifying these other soft level sounds like the refrigerator or the air conditioner or your circuit noise inside of your hearing aid, that is, unless you use expansion. With expansion, we can program a hearing aid to give less amplification to these really soft level sounds, and here's an example of how to do this inside of the programming software for Phonak hearing aids. With the expansion feature, we can reduce the amount of amplification given to 35 dB SPL inputs by increasing the threshold knee point, otherwise known as TK, at specific frequency ranges. This typically takes away that hissing sound without negatively impacting soft level speech that is in that 50 to 55 decibel range that I mentioned before. Now here's another example of how to use expansion inside of the programming software for resound hearing aids. Resound gives mild, medium, and strong expansion setting options, which reduce amplification given to soft sounds at varying levels of reduction. The stronger the setting, the less amplification is given to soft level sounds. The higher levels of technology allow for a greater range of reduction using expansion, while the lower levels of technology only allow for a small reduction to these soft level sounds. Overall, having a deep understanding of how expansion works isn't necessarily critical, as long as your hearing care professional knows how to use it, knows how to implement it correctly, and you have hearing aids that actually give it as an option. So if you are having the perception of this static hiss in a quiet environment and you can't get used to it, then expansion is the feature that you're looking for. 
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.